I'm Karen Gray Playstead, professional home stager and lead decorator with Design Solutions KGP. And with me is Angela Murphy. Hi, Angela Murphy, professional realtor with Green Team Realty New York in Orange County, New York. Welcome to Selling Solutions. <laughs> so today we were going to go ahead and discuss services. Um, I guess Angela received a question as to why would I really want a home stager in the first place? Why do I want to spend the money, right? That is correct. Yeah. So she asked me to go ahead and touch base a little bit about what home staging can provide to a seller. Um, it depends on whether or not the house is vacant or whether or not the house is occupied. A vacant home is one that you're no longer living in. Um, and a vacant home can present very well, but at the same time too, it doesn't pr provide a lifestyle for what the buyers are looking for. So home staging will do that for you. Um, the cost of the furniture and the rentals, yeah, it is a little expensive, but it definitely gives you a bang for the buck. In terms of expensive, you're usually looking at, in our area, 2% of the listing price of a home um, for a three month period. So, really your presentation your furnishings the look of the mls everything is going to convey to the buyer which is really important then you have occupied staging and occupied staging is you can do anything with occupied staging which is great um you can go ahead and every every service that i provide i always start out with the consultation because every home is different and everybody has different things that we can work with so in occupied i will go through with the consultation usually giving a priority list to the sellers in terms as to what actually they will need to do before their home is actually staged then i can go back and assist them in terms as to whether or not we're we're moving furniture around moving accessories around utilizing their things they can also go ahead if they do not have artwork or they do not have updated mirrors or they do not have something that's updated in terms of accessories like pillows color whatever they can go ahead and utilize that service from me um, or there's also situations where i've had occupied homes where the person is moving from new york down to florida california wherever opposite side of the country and they don't even want to spend the money to go ahead and move their things so they're like these or even if they're moving close these are things i want but the rest can go so we might supplement the items that they have in their home with rentals that will go ahead and complete the work look to give a lifestyle for the buyer that they're looking for so there's a lot of different levels that we can go ahead and do but in terms as to the occupied you're usually looking at about a half a percent to one percent of the listing price of the home in this area in all of those though home staging is the only service that a seller incurs that will give them a return on their investment and that return on their investment is typically anywhere between six to ten percent on that investment so if you're only putting in one percent and getting a six percent return that's a nice return i don't even think is the stock market even doing that now <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> No, I don't think it is. <laughs> um, so I will just say on my end, I think the um, concern for sellers is, of course, the money. Mm -hmm. And they, I would say it's applicable to a, a broad spectrum of sellers, correct? Doesn't matter if you're selling two fifty, two hundred thousand dollar house to a million dollars, correct? exactly it's home staging yeah. is a minimal cost for the bang for the buck in the long run um what i find i just want to finish is i think um certain sellers of that their homes are you know maybe cottages or just on the smaller end they don't feel it's applicable to them and i disagree with that personally um, and that's where I find you useful. And wouldn't you agree that it is just important no matter what the price of the home is? I guess that's my... You don't need to be a millionaire to afford a home stager. Right. I think the most important thing to keep in mind is that your home is one of the largest investments you've ever made. 
And so therefore, when you go to sell, you're hoping to get a return on that largest investment that you have made. So the presentation and the packaging of that product, your home that you are selling in the market needs to stand out. You have a lot of competition out there. And this is your one way to get to the advantage of standing out. And that's why home staging is so vital for when you go ahead and sell. And home staging prepares you, your home, for those headshots. It prepares your home for that professional photography that's going to be coming through that is going to put your house out there to the entire United States. And as some homeowners have said to, have said to me, I'd be embarrassed to have my home looking the way it is and know that everybody in the United States is looking at my house. I want it to look perfect so that in turn, I'm not embarrassed down the road because all my friends are going to be looking at it. All my relatives are going to be looking at it. Everybody that I know is going to be looking That's at it. That's true. Can I absolutely. It? And mm. I get it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's great advice, Karen, and thank you. Certainly, and I'm glad that in turn you had the questions that came in. And again, too, if you are interested or have any questions of topics that you would like us to go ahead and discuss, please reach out to us on our social platforms that you're going ahead and watching us on, and we will see you for the next Selling Solutions. Take care. Bye.